Howdy folks, welcome back to Jack's Meat Jack. Today we're gonna to cook this awesome pork loin joint from Eat Great Meat. And the first thing we're gonna do is cover it in some cheap table salt, only on the skin, because we wanna draw some of that moisture out of the skin to help produce really nice crackling. So good liberal coating of salt and massage it in with your fingers. Now, the difficult part is getting really good crispy crackling and still keeping that pork nice and juicy and moist inside because to produce really good crackling, you're gonna to have to have the temperature really, really high. If you're doing it in the oven, you want it around 230 to blast this crackling to give it a good head start. But again, the meat underneath is really delicate. There's hardly any fat in pork loin. So it's a fine line between crispy crackling and nice moist pork. As you can see, the salt has started to produce little drops of moisture on top of the skin. This is what you want. Now, all you're gonna do is wipe off this salt and do the process again. By wiping off the salt, what you're gonna do is take that moisture away from the skin. As I said before, to produce really nice crackling, you wanna have that skin bone dry. Eat Great Meat have also done you a massive favor by pre-scoring the fat on this pork loin. So it's really easy to get that salt into the grooves and it will come in handy later when we slice. I'll explain when we get to that stage. Well team, this is the reality of barbecuing in January in London. One minute, blue skies, next minute, torrential rain. So get your brolly up, don't let the weather stop you. Let's do this. Weber rotisserie is going on today, no matter what. Rotisserie is a really nice way to cook pork. The constant motion of the rotisserie allows the juices to be distributed around the meat throughout the cook so we should have nice moist pork at the end all you do put your rod through the center of the meat use the fastening things provided to wedge the pork so it doesn't move while we spin it on the rotisserie and while your pork is cooking get your roast potatoes on best way to do them parboil them to they're soft take them out let them air dry so a nice crust forms on the outside, then into a nice hot cast iron pan with some leftover beef fat. This beef fat was left over from the Wagyu steak I did a couple of weeks ago. So these potatoes are gonna be pretty good. And once they're in your cast iron, what you're gonna do is get a spoon and move the potatoes around because you don't want the bottom of the potato to have fat on it and the top not to. So nice gently toss the potatoes around the pan and when they come out they should be crispy and golden now i wish i had loads of footage of the pork cooking on the barbecue slow you know mesmeric turnings of the rotisserie but the weather was terrible just about got the coals lit got them inside the barbecue aimed for 150 degrees celsius controlled the temperature by sort of turning off the vent at the bottom of the Weber, stop the air from coming in, but the wind was really strong. So it kind of crept up every now and again to sort of 160, 170 mark. All you can do is get out there, kind of shut the air off from the top vent. Hopefully the coals will come down. And yeah, it's all about keeping that temperature quite low. So 150 degrees Celsius for this cook. If you're cooking it on anything else, that way we should get some nice crackling and the pork should be nice and moist as well. As I mentioned before, they've already scored this meat. So you can see the fat is starting to produce its own natural guidelines for where to cut the pork. So if you see here, what I'm doing with my serrated knife is going in between those grooves and cutting sections of pork off. Internally, the pork got to 62 degrees Celsius, 
before we pulled it off and let it rest for around the 45 minute mark. Trust me, it seems like a long time, but the longer you rest your meat, the more moist it will actually be. You can see the board, it's nice juicy pork. So next time you're thinking, what should we do for Sunday roast? Why not give a pork loin a try? This joint cost about 15 or 16 pounds, and this will easily feed about 10 people with extras left over for sandwiches. Big shout out to Eat Great Meat who provided the pork loin for this video and I will see you all soon for some more Meat Shack action. In a minute, you can see the finished products. Look at that crispy crackling moist pork. Bye y'all.